Catalonia, a Spanish autonomous region, is known for its seaside markets and Gothic-style architecture. This region has its own language, flag, and government. But what is more interesting and dramatic than all that is the Castells Festival, which literally means human tower. These towers have a height of between 6 and 10 levels, or about 13 meters. This festival activity is attended by between 100 and 500 people who try to form human towers with very unique and creative arrangements. To build a human tower, one needs a strong body and a lot of courage. This is because the Castells is built in two phases. The first is the formation of the base of the tower, which is the people who stand at the bottom to form the higher levels of the tower. This is done slowly and carefully, and when the base level is finished, it is continued with the second phase. The top layer of the tower is built very quickly to give minimal pressure on the base of the tower, which bears most of the weight of the castells. Usually, participants who are young and have a light weight will form the peak of the tower, while participants who are heavy will form the base of the tower. In building a human tower, one can step on the people below. Even though the person is his superior, of course this cannot be done outside the Castells festival. Therefore, this festival is considered a symbol of togetherness, closeness, the elimination of class differences, and the friendliness of Catalonia's population. Castells is a tradition that has been around for more than 200 years and has been passed down from generation to generation. This festival was first held in 1801 as a cultural activity and then became a competition in the 1980s. Then, in 2010, UNESCO included this festival as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. For some practitioners, Castells becomes a kind of nationalism symbol. The nationalist interpretation emerged after the death of Spanish dictator Francisco Franco in 1975. During his reign, Franco banned many traditional practices of Catalonia and Spain from 1939 to 1975, including flying the Catalan flag and changing Catalonia's national holidays. Franco also threatened the implementation of Castells, so that this festival was almost destroyed. But fortunately, after his death in 1998, a team managed to build a tower with 10 levels, which marked the revival of this festival. In recent years, the popularity of this festival has grown rapidly and is now more popular than ever. Interest in this tradition has grown among young people. When most young people in the world have been detached from their traditional culture, then young people in Catalonia are actually against this trend. <laughs>